Seven years in the making, the new film called Loving Vincent consists of almost 67,000 animated oil paintings that imitate the brush strokes and vibrant colors of the famous artist. Anyone who appreciates Van Gogh's work is likely to be dazzled. The filmmakers shot footage of live actors who resembled the portraits Van Gogh created of people he knew. Next, 80 artists painted and animated that footage, which was then placed inside the animated frames of a hundred scenes the artist himself created. How does a man go from calm to suicidal in six weeks? Set a year after the artist's death, the film examines the question of how he died. Did he commit suicide or did someone shoot him? A postmaster asks his son to deliver an unsent letter Vincent wrote to his brother, Teo. I don't see the point in delivering a dead man's letter. Son, if you had died and there was a letter out there that you had sent to me, I'd want it. The son travels to the village where Vincent died, only to discover that Teo is also dead. But he decides to learn what he can about the artist's death by talking to the people who knew him best. You want to know so much about his death, but what do you know of his life? I know that he tried hard to prove he was good for something. He did. That's why I take flowers to his grave. Everyone tells a different version of Vincent's unexplained death, but the mystery so really isn't as important as the amazing you know cinematography. All 67,000 frames of live-action film were recreated as oil paintings and then filmed again. Projected at 24 frames per second, this created an almost psychedelic animation. The flashbacks in the movie, which include people and scenes the artist never painted, were shot in black and white and then painted in the photographic style of the 19th century. I would like to show by my work what this nobody has in his heart. Your loving. Vincent. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.